Hmm. Actually. If you're having trouble where uh, the White Springs is at, Angel, look for the White House. But, if you just don't want the hassle of looking on the map, hold the options menu and just... Wow, hello. Is he still over encumbered? Hmm. Odd. Hey, Sergeant. He could just drop all his junk, honestly. I can see you got my message of Warhawk. <laughs> yeah. That's not why I added you, but the real reason why is because I saw you nearby and I saw it like, yeah, hey, Sergeant. Are you Army? Marine Corps? Ah. Uh. Ah. Okay. Well, pleasure to meet you. I'm General Wolf. IRL, IRL soldier of the United States Army Fort Tango Air Defense Artillery. <laughs> no, we're more like ground troops. No, we don't shoot big guns. I mean, I shoot an M249, but I ain't a rocket. We're not in charge of shooting the rocket or, like, the missiles of whatever, uh, anti-air whatever. That's the 40, 14 Echoes. Echoes, make sure everything's good, fixed, and all that bullshit. But we get paid the same amount. So that doesn't really matter. Anyway. Yep, he's here. Anyway, uh, are you new to 76, Sergeant? So you know how to launch a nuke? <laughs> well, you're you come to the right place. I could help you with that. Me and my pe people can help you on that. Because we're actually trying to help out newcomers, anyone who struggles and shit like that. Because we're part of a military faction in the game. Well, I'll get to that. Angel, I would not suggest shooting the robots. Don't. Unless you want this entire <laughs> area to go hostile. Level 50 or level 60 robots is attacking you. Soltrons are deadly and annoying. Protectrons are somewhat the same. Also, if you need to clear out rads, step into the deep... Yeah, th that area. There you go. No more rads. Go on through. Okay. So.
All right. Well, Angel, if you know how to play Fallout 4, I wish you could say something. But that hardly matters. Anyway, so. Let me just get out of this uniform. So the reason why I added you guys as a friend and the reason why I'm helping out these, this newcomer and that uh, in this chat is because I want to recruit you guys the an actual military roleplay faction of the Enclave. If interested, we could help you in throughout your missions, uh, supply you, help you out wherever you need. Weapons, armor, and gear are all free. No charge whatsoever. So if you want like an explosive heavy weapon, explosive automatic, or pistol, we got it. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that, Angel, Angel says he's in. <laughs> I like the enthusiasm. Sergeant, you, you want in? We'll help you launch a nuke. I'm free tomorrow. Considering I'm working tomorrow, but I get off quite early in the afternoon. We'll help you launch a nuke, and depending on what build you are, we could help you. First gun is free on the house free legendary depending on what build you are So, the only weapon I recommend you do not use in this game is the minigun. Because the thing is about the minigun is it's slow and it's a waste of ammo and freaking it's just terrible. E even if it is explosive, depending if it's an explosive, faster fire rate. That's good. This minigun is pretty good. Does explosive damage to whatever you do. Um, the 50 cal machine gun is also a good one because the ammo is pretty easy to make. The damage, the caliber is a high amount of damage. Especially with ultra sight rounds, you'll find that like a fucking uh, carnival. If you know what I mean. As for the other heavy weapons, such as Missile Launcher, Fat Man, um, the Fat Man, if it's a two shot, it's more deadlier. If it's a Merv, I don't know. It's good. But, eh. Depending if you want to suicide bomb someone. Well. 50 cal you could earn by doing Beckett's quest a stronger 50 cal an anti-armor faster fire rate 50 cal oh yes but I'm also I'm always here helping newcomers especially anyone that needs help so I can recruit them into our enclave and so that we could do enclave missions together. Not the events we have, like uh, the enclave has, because you know, it gets kind of boring. We make our own. And yeah, it's pretty fun, enjoyable. Real ranking structure, ranking structure based on the army. So real leadership. So like from, uh, PV1 to command sergeant major of the army that's the enlisted and NCO ranks as well as the commission officer rank of second lieutenant to uh, general general of the army is me but no one has actually got that in that rank yet 
But are you in? Are you with us? It's all right. I understand. Oh man, that, that's completely fine, man. Look, you launched that fucking nuke for damn sure. We'll give you some time to think. Like, it's up to you. But we're gonna help you out, man. Because judging from you, you seem pretty of a good guy. <laughs> Eh, no problem. Besides, launching a nuke might be actually enjoyable. Actually, it always is enjoyable. What am I saying? Yes. So we could actually help you with that. But you gotta join the enclave. Like our enclave our military roleplay enclave like you join us we could help you get there I could supply you with the junk we have so much flux around like a 1k each so we could help you build it we could help you earn it the only thing is you just have to join the our group in addition first gun is on the house Armors, armor and equipment, whatever you want. We got it. It It doesn't matter if you're shy. I'm just like we need people to be honest. We need active people. We need people like to talk to because People who enjoy this game, like, can tend to be bored of it because, like, you know, there's nothing to do. But we kind of like we build up from that role play. We build up this faction that it's actually living, surviving, and it's not just like you do this one miscellaneous quest. That's it. We actually make it thrive. Well, we just have to get you a photo, same with Angel. Now, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Hell no, Terry ID. It's um so basically here let me like this. Also, Angel. So your next tax is it's simple. It's either you wanna take the questionnaire if you played Fallout 3 and all that. It doesn't matter if you got it right or wrong. It's simple. So pictures like that if you want like enclave uniform style. But we want it like professional. If you want it like in power armor, that that's also acceptable as well. Yeah. Come on, ain't questionnaires right here. 
It's either if you want to do it or if you want to skip it. It's optional. So... So for Fallout 3 in one of the questions of joining the Enclave, it was about um, who was the one in charge of um, Operation Anchorage. And that was General Constantine Chase, the one that actually got his name into Fallout 3 for Constantine. He was a good man. Even though we didn't meet him, he, the simulation actually just showed him. <laughs> yeah, Fallout 3 was the best game. I mean, nothing compared to Fallout New Vegas. Fallout New Vegas was fucking great. <laughs> so... I... On my first playthrough... I sucked at being the good guy. I ran out of ammo pretty quick when it came to crossing the bridge towards uh, Dukov's place. And I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And when I when I went there and exited out, the only thing I see is an enclave trooper uh, with power armor shooting a plasma rifle at me. And it's like, what the fuck? How do I kill him? Give me your gun! So like I had to restart and I tried doing a bad guy playthrough where I could just steal stuff. At the time I didn't know like even though it was a good character, like you could look and not get bad karma. That wasn't the case. You could like just you could be bad, but you just have to get the you you just have to stay good. Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. I... I... blew up Megaton for bad guy playthrough and good game playthrough. Hell, I'm even still playing it to this day. I'm still debating if I should actually blow up Megaton or save Megaton. In the end, I didn't, I didn't blow up Megaton, nor did I... Uh, save Megaton. I just explored north towards the SATCOM array because apparently when I was exploring I found this tent with a bed and a foot locker and no one owned it. I thought like a wandering merchant would be there but when I put some stuff in it it didn't disappear. So I started living in that uh, tent that and called it my home rather than um get a player home like in Megaton and um, uh, Tenpenny Tower because the thing is is it really worth blowing up Megaton? Fuck yeah it is but I just like I'm just like the Enclave I'm like thinking of an Enclave playthrough and it's like hmm for an Enclave Patriot that's roaming around spreading our message he's actually quite useful and for an image of pre-war America Tempe Tower that's actually pretty good so pretty much anyone that represents the pre-war world why should we eliminate why should we do that and I've been thinking like yes 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 I have, so it's like, yeah, I'm probably not gonna do. I, I I can't I can't do it because like, the thing is, for Ten Penny Tower, I kill the ghouls. The ones that like are trying to get into Ten Penny Tower, I did a good guy playthrough and I let them in. It's still a bad guy playthrough because you come back a week later, they kill them all. All the humans are dead everyone butchered in one room and it's just ghouls just two ghouls outside and three ghouls like inside it's like to make it more like an on play playthrough any 
any enclave power armor I find. I just it, I just pickpocket it towards um, the security guards and I just give it to them. And it's absolutely quite funny because uh, you could actually say like, oh shit, these guys are enclave troops. At least, like, at least, like, um, how should I say this? These guys, like, are patrolling and capturing towns and cities, rebuilding America and shit like that. And it's like, god damn, I actually spread their mess. Oh, I talk too much. <laughs> that, that guy... I'm like still trying to figure out how am I going to do this because in Fallout 3 I'm trying I never done broken steel never have Be because I was always like uh should I do this should I do that I completed DLCs and all that but point lookout I'm never going to do point lookout I did point lookout uh, three times but I'm the reason why I'm not gonna download it is because do I really want a sawed off shotgun uh, or you know the double barrel shotgun uh, the Union hats and Confederate hats uh, and uh, explore the uh, Rhode Island I think it's called or that island or some shit uh, far, far away from Washington D.C. Is it really worth it? Not far. It's Point Lookout. Is it really worth it to explore Point Lookout just for some uh, elaborate quest to save someone's daughter and get some pointless um, gear? No, fuck no. For the pit compared. To Compared to the pit, Operation Anchorage, uh, Budget of Zeta, and uh, Take It Back, uh, or sorry, uh, Broken Steel, those were the shit right there. Because at least, at least they had taste. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this, and I forgot to mention it to him. If you don't have a home, we'll build your home metal or wood I don't choose concrete because uh why should I um I'll be right back I need to put my laundry in the dryer And I honestly forgot what I was talking about. Ah, yes, Fallout 3. So, Fallout 3. Now, I had so much ammo when I did Operation Anchorage. And 
I had back in PS3 long time ago I had over all the companions plus NPCs of Sydney uh, red uh, what's it called uh, what's the little guy called? Uh, the little lamp like kid, um, Sticky, and and the other guy who like keeps complaining, like, when are we going to make town? I since they were just teenagers I gave them guns I gave them power armor and it was so funny like to see a teenager in power armor is like how are you that small to wear power armor yeah but yeah, so, uh, like say, oh, doing the freaking, uh, like helping the Brotherhood, uh, with the caravans and bullshit like that. Why can't I just do the quests and all that? I never even got close to even starting it because I couldn't even think of a way to, like, get past the Enclave because the Enclave was my shit. Anyway. Once Angel's done with the questionnaire, he'll have to go to the sit load the system access hall tape at over um at the Zack Spot is a strong believer of the Enclave. However, he's solo. He doesn't, like, join our parties or shit like that. I just want him to see, like, what we do. So far, he... I don't know if he does. But he stayed with us for this long. He never left. I'm doing the event of the cultist thing. If you want, you're welcome to join me. The ritual site has been prepared. Yep. The summoning shall commence once each of the I never done it because at that time I was uh I was still in BCT and AIT. That was like in 2021. Ah, yes. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however yeah. brief it may be. Breathe, children. Breathe. That's my plan as well. But I had to do, I still had to do laundry and shit like that. So, I'm gonna be up for a bit. And once it's done, bed. But first, I had to help out Angel. And get that photo. We'll send them into a frenzy. You must protect our sacred lights, the fires huh? from those wretched fiends. Without the fire's glow, our guest may refuse our invitation. Yeah. The dim ones approach the church. Slay them, children. He said he he said 
Be right back. I gotta go. The bridge is fire. Oh. The heretic's next target, children. You must. Well, whenever he wants to. The heretics bring foul brutes with them. Let not your eyes deceive. You can still head over here. See before you the sky. No matter its shape, man or beast, these twisted shadows all serve the will of the false one. Fuck! Jump, bitch! The foul demons are headed toward the waterside fire, children. You must protect it. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pyre unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. Hey, Angel, get over here. You fucking... This game... If it's the amount of clothing I have in my inventory, I'm just gonna get rid of it. Yeah, that's a lot of enemies. Hold on. Yes. If you if you need help, Angel, just let us know. Unto us, that expansion you feel in your mind, that growing sense of wisdom and foresight. Ow. Are you gonna help me? Show him. Show him what I'm right in front of you. Eh, jumping high.
Well, I'm going to be waiting at my camp so Angel could uh, uh, get that photo to fully initiate himself into the enclave. This will register him as... Yeah. That's our motto. Uh, a funny thing is, he doesn't even have a house. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's a bug. Sometimes it... Oh. No. We're not talking about the same thing, are we? Oh, yeah, that that's a bug. Because uh, it's telling you, like, oh shit. Like, it's gonna kick you out of the workshop. That's what Bethesda hasn't worked on. Is because the thing is... How, how they thought what, what was happening was that there was some sort of glitch that people were exploiting or something. Do I blame the exploiters? No. Because those guys are just like trying to make the game more interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah, most definitely. Nah, I'm completely fine. Same to you. I'll likely see you on tomorrow. Angel, you still there?
First time I'm actually using post. Just to keep things stable. Do 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 No. Okay. Good. God damn it.
Hmm. Well, he's gonna need a table. Symptomatic machine against any diseases. Angel, what happened? Angel, you there? <laughs> 